Getting a free COVID-19 test at Dodger Stadium, an informational guide. I made my appointment the night before, and there were a thousand plus appointments still available for 30 minute windows throughout the day. Making an appointment is fast and simple, and you can even put your insurance information and driver's license beforehand to save time. After I made my appointment, I received an email with a confirmation code, which I had to provide right after getting in line. Here I am in line to get tested for COVID. I'm at the Dodger Stadium Test Center. Um, had a 12.30 appointment, it's um, 12.40 right now and I'm in line, um, or 12.30 to 1 o'clock window. Um, here's the line, um, when I was walking in, or not dri walking, driving in, I saw um, a sign that said approximately two hour wait time, but I'm hoping that that's not the case. So here's a view of the line leading up to where they ask for your confirmation that you have an appointment. Here's the guy with his sign asking the people in front of me if they have an appointment. Okay, so I just showed proof that I have an appointment and now we're going through the actual gate to get in. Um, I assume that that's where you test, um, but we'll see. Okay, so here's another better view of the whole testing area once you get to the top of the um, line. Um, so here's where I'm about to go and it loops all the way around where those cars are right there. And then I think that this right here is where they give you the test. And then these um, easy ups right here are where you put it, um, where you give it back to them. Here's another general shot of what the entire parking lot looks like with the testing center fully in view. While I was waiting, there were videos playing that detailed information like general COVID-19 symptoms, what to do if you test positive, and how to self-administer the oral test. There was also a YouTube self-test tutorial video included when I received the confirmation email when I first booked my appointment. The test is contactless, so this is how they give you directions. At the first kiosk that I got to, they asked for my email confirmation again and used tongs to hand me my test kit. Here's a photo of what the test kit looks like for an oral COVID test. After they handed me my test kit, I was told to wait to begin the test until I got to the next kiosk. I was then told to put my car in park and administer the test, which only took about 30 seconds. The final step was simply to put the test back in the collection bin. The entire testing experience from start to finish took one hour and was completely contactless. 